help you? Pathfinder Ryder, here to see Nilk and Rensis. Ah, our murderer. Wife's here all the time. Guess she told you her sob story. Nilkun, you're moving up in the world. There's a Pathfinder wanted to chat with you. The Pathfinder, huh? They called in the big guns to exile Andromeda's first murderer. Are they having the Oh! Maybe, hold on, maybe the reason they're using husband and wife is in case people didn't play the original trilogy. Yeah. Well, maybe you should do research before you play video games. It's a joke. Okay. But seriously, why didn't you she research? She doesn't mean it. Don't. I mean it. Don't. I mean it. No. You should do, re just like if we are going to see an opera. Mari is a nice person. No, I'm not. Despite what she tells you. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you should research everything before you play Maybe a game. Maybe you should have OCD and obsess about... And obsess over every detail and memorize an entire Wikipedia yeah. about a video Suddenly game. Suddenly I don't feel as bad that I have such a bad memory because I realize I'm just best friends with somebody who has OCD. Exactly. So by comparison, my memory is like shit. No, your memory's great. You remember languages like that. I just remember useless facts that nobody cares about. <laughs> <laughs> Your wife's all broken up over this. She says you didn't do it, and that she loves you. <sighs> She's a wonderful person. At this point, it's too late. They found me guilty. Why don't you tell me what happened? I was part of the futile effort to set up a colony on Eos. We were on our last legs, overrun by hostiles, our leader dead. The security chief, Reynolds, my friend, he refused to call for evacuation. I argued with him. I find it's everyone. I saw. find it strange that so many of the, of the Turians here are barefaced because <clears throat> back in uh, the Milky Way, that's extremely rare, and barefaced Turians are considered to be untrustworthy. Hmm. And if they're going, I can understand like they're going to a new galaxy and setting up new things. However, those are tattoos permanent permanently put on their face so these are like so many barefaced Turians maybe the reason why is because the Turians were li willing to leave because they didn't feel any a special allegiance to any allegiance any colonies yeah because the reason why Turians have face tattoos is because there was like a great colony war and then after that they would put the colony symbols on their face to show allegiance to their colony well, maybe, if you think about it, a lot of these people, they're like, hey, just so you know, you're going to be traveling for 600, th everyone you know is going to be dead. You know what I mean? But well, like, how long in, do Turians in two, live? Turians live to be about 150. Yeah. To about the same as the humans in this time era. However, you would think that Turians are extremely loyal to their whatever it is they do. Yeah. And barefaced Turians, even if they're going to a new galaxy, they still have their uh, prejudices, just like the Salarians do. Mm -hmm. And barefaced Turians are considered to be untrustworthy. Maybe they were. Because they're not seen as somebody who has strong allegiance to anyone. Yeah. But maybe that's why they were willing to leave. I think that, but also, like, it's just. I'm like, um, who wrote this? That's Who's going to explain this? Someone has to explain why there's so many barefaced Turians. Just oh, saying. Also possible. Arguments happen. Last I checked, getting into a spat wasn't against the law. There's more. He ordered us to regroup and counterattack. We were moving through a sandstorm. I saw movement, thought it was the cat, and I, I guess I panicked and fired. A witness saw the chief's chest explode. Oh, no. So it was unintentional. Yeah. Sounds like an accident. That's what I told them. But I was enraged when we argued. There's a recording. It's, it's ugly. Everyone's certain I did it on purpose so we could evacuate. Only my word otherwise. Well, I'm not going to say that. Yeah, the I evidence guarantee... will decide. The evidence has already decided you're guilty. Like, well, what am I supposed to say? I don't know. Don't give up. Yeah, but the thing is, what if they're being prejudiced against him because he's barefaced? So we're going to have to go over the evidence ourselves as an impartial non-Turian. I'll check out the evidence. Maybe something doesn't add up. It would be nice to have someone with an open mind looking at it. You're a Pathfinder. I'm sure Kandros would give you access. 
Maybe there's still hope. I've noticed that the Turians in this one bend their knees a lot more than in previous games. And also, hmm, their leg spike is slightly different. <laughs> God, welcome to the Geek Remix Let's Play the Mass Effect game. Um, um, excuse me. What? You're called life mates? <laughs> Who the fuck wrote this? <laughs> Weapons and stuff. I got you covered. Use the console to take a look through what I got. It'd be a lot easier if I weren't missing half my stock. Ouch. Why am I paying for these? Half the supplies are inaccessible, what with how we crash landed and all. And I have to trade with the crooks out there for the rest, so. Okay, well, we have a hundred credits, so bye. <laughs> <laughs> She seems distressed. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of blondes on this ship, considering they have limited supplies, and blonde is no longer a natural hair color. Oh, excuse me, miss. Maybe they just merge themselves with jellyfish jeans to get cool colored hair. Just saying. They've cheated, Maybe you they should have something in the codex explaining why everyone's blonde. But you... S That's the console for our strike teams. What are they? Assault and extraction squads. When we need the best, I have Apex, combat experts who've signed up to defend us. Since you have a front row view of the cluster, I can give you authority to dispatch them. I'll deploy your people carefully, Kandros. Appreciate that, Ryder. But trust me, Apex can handle themselves. Authorization complete. Good luck out there. No news on the Turian Arc yet. Or is this militia business? I spoke with Nilkin Rensis, the man found guilty of the murder on Eos. Yes, our first murder here in Andromeda. I wish it had been our last. When the colony attempts failed, it didn't help spirits that a high-ranking officer was killed by one of our own. The mutiny here on Nexus was probably inevitable, but this acted as a spark. Doesn't seem right to put all that on him. Of course it isn't, but that's the perception. Despite the lack of physical evidence, everything added up. His only defense was, trust me, I didn't mean to do it. And you assume he's lying. What's a lie to a murderer? Look, knock yourself out. A key witness Cassidy Shaw works in operations, go ahead and talk to her. And there's a recording of the perpetrator threatening the victim. I'll let you cue it up on the console there. As far as I'm concerned, this case is closed. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. Hmm. How do I do this? Strike teams can be sent on missions to support the Andromeda Initiative. If they succeed, they'll learn XP and Ryder will gain a reward. If they fail, they'll only earn a small amount of XP and no special reward. Apex is the most elite strike team in the cluster and can handle critical missions. Select a mission and press A to ascend Apex. Your progress will be automatically saved before multiplayer is launched. You will then play the role of Apex operative in a small squad. Play Apex missions in multiplayer, either with friends or through public matchmaking, to earn strike team rewards for Ryder and additional bonuses. Oh. Um, so that's not just a, like, oh, you press it and you send them. That's, like, you have to actually play it. Do you... You play multiplayer. You can send a strike team. Oh, okay. So you don't have to. Oh, good. Cool. Oh. And then... So this is encouraging. The Nexus versus Colonist Nilkin, Evidence 7A. Hiram! Hiram! They've seized the compound! Call for evacuation! We're not giving up, Nilkin. We're taking it back! No! I'm not letting your ego get us killed! Even if I have to... No! Get him off me! Get him off me! Okay, so that doesn't sound like an actual threat. He got cut off, and then you don't know what's happening. That's awful. And dumb. Yeah, I mean, I think it could be looked at either way, though, because 
if we were not if we were looking at this from the pers well, it's whatever. If you look at from the perspective of he's already guilty, yeah, that solidifies an assumption. Yeah, but if you look at it from the perspective Cassidy Shaw, I'm Ryder. Oh. I'm looking into the Nilkin murder case. Oh man, I thought that was over with. Have you heard the audio recording of their fight? Yes. I helped pull him off Chief Reynolds. You could see it in his eyes. He was gonna kill him. Okay. Then in the sandstorm, I had a pretty clear view of the chief. He looked right at Nilkin and shouted, no. Then his chest burst open. I'll never forget it. The look on his face was pure shock. Chest burst open? That doesn't sound like... They said that he panicked and shot, but was but he there's... shot by somebody else? Yeah, but the thing is, he's saying, and then his chest burst open. That's like, not saying, and then he was shot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Let's go through these and see. <clears throat> Reynolds was leading you back to retake the compound. Did you agree with that? It wasn't my place to agree or disagree. He was ranking officer. In retrospect, it is ironic. If he hadn't been killed, we all probably would have died. I find you suspicious, lady. Did you see any cat in the vicinity? Nilkin said so, but not that I could see. Still, the sandstorm was severe. Visibility wasn't great. So if visibility well, wasn't great, how did you see everything so clearly? Yeah. I mean, she's got funky colored hair, so you know she's not trustworthy. Yeah, like us. Mm-hmm. I'm saying, she says that she had a clear view of the she chief and of him, but saying that the sta sandstorm was thick, and he says he couldn't see the guy who was murdered very well, and he thought it was a cat. Yeah. So something's not adding up because she's saying, I could see them clearly, but I couldn't see very clearly because of the sandstorm. Mm hmm. So. Did Nilkin seem remorseful? I lost sight of Nilkin in the turmoil. When we found him, he seemed in shock. He couldn't speak. He looked nauseated. Could have been guilt. The reality of the act sinking in. Mm. Or could have just been really upset that he killed his friend. Yeah. If they'd fought and Nilkin threatened to kill him, why was Reynolds surprised? Friends fight, say things they don't mean, maybe even hurt each other. But you don't expect your best friend to shoot you. To me, that's the saddest part. The chief's heart was broken right before it exploded. Why are you saying exploded? I don't know. That seems... Bitch, did you put a bomb on that dude? <laughs> that seems weird. I don't trust this lady. Yeah. Like, the way she's saying it is she's acting as if, like, she put a bomb on him, and she keeps saying exploded instead of, like... He was shot? He was shot. Yeah. Like, I understand there's incendiary rounds and everything, but I don't... But like, also, like, if you were shooting somebody, why would their chest explode? Like, I mean, that, that can't happen, but she keeps using the word explode as if she's aware of something that everybody else isn't, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't trust her. I appreciate the information. Of course. You... It kills me. We have Why to leave him behind. Why are you punching me? Friends hurt each other, Murray. Oh. So the body was never examined? Important piece of a murder investigation. Tan wouldn't allow a mission to go back for him. Said it was too dangerous. Hmm. He wouldn't allow a mission to go back for him. Hmm. Yeah. We gotta speak with Tan. So he wouldn't allow a mission to go back for him. Maybe he... Maybe Tan, like, had, like, explosives on him, and he was like, that's stupid, kill you from afar. Possible. <laughs> Something I can help you with? I'm looking into the Nilkin Rensis murder charge. And? I want to go to Eos and retrieve Chief Reynolds' body. That isn't usually Pathfinder business. First murder in Andromeda, and I'm impartial. Figured you'd want to get it right. Settling an outpost comes first. But I suppose I have no objections. Physical evidence will only bolster the case. Hmm. Everyone's acting suspicious. Like, like it's a cover-up or I something. I know, I but... love that this is, like, a little bit, like, uh, <laughs> who done it? Yeah. Like, who is it? Yeah, like, why don't you want us to go back and get the body? Well, no, he said I have no objections. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if he did say it, if he did but say But he you, didn't go back and get it himself, exactly. so... The more certain we can be, the better. All right, but let's keep it quiet. I don't want people thinking we're reopening the case. I hope anything you find reaffirms what's been done, but if it sheds a different light, we'll deal with it. 
We'll send the coordinates of the murder scene. Good luck. That's all. Thanks for your time. Of course. Investigate murder evidence. I think that means that we'll go on our ship, but I want to make sure we do all our quests first. Yeah. It's murder! Additional tasks, getting to know the Nexus, speak with Kesh, speak with the scientists. We should probably do that. Yep. Complete missions. So that should be like the last thing we do, and then we'll go off and do the other thing. Hello, scientists! Hello! Scientist! But the planet was toxic. What if they store oxygen in porous tissue, like Quiro's rockfish? I still reckon they had breather gear stowed in that armor. Perhaps both. Life is infinitely adaptable, as our expedition proves. I mean, there was other living things on that planet. Well, whatever. Engineering report. Talk to me. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hey, you. You must be the Pathfinder. Wonderful. You and your Sam are exactly what we need. Thanks, Mr... Professor Herrick. My colleagues and I will work with your Sam and the data you gather to solve Andromeda's scientific mysteries. Can I come? They look so excitable. I know, like, look at that nerd Turian. I know, he's got <laughs> a little hat. And nobody, like, yay! Hey! Like, he came out of the corner like, hey, what are you doing? What's going on? <laughs> I got a hat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm usually out in the field, but I wouldn't mind talking shop. Or lab. You know. You are always welcome. Not that we've had much to study, with everyone cooped up for 14 months. But your data on the Scourge flows like poetry. Now we can better advise on repairing the damage Look at these caused. nerds. And maybe <laughs> nerds. Addison will give us a real workspace. Who can think with all this racket? I love them. Like, how is it that, like, I don't think we're assuming that they're nerdy. They look and act nerdy, right? Yeah. <laughs> Which, by the way, is not... Pathfinder, those bioscans are superb. Could you gather more for our comparative conservation all right, effort? what did you say? I was just going to say it's not, like, bad, but I mean, you know, seem like nerds. I think it's cute. What conservation effort? Ah, my thesis is on the console there. Broad strokes, we're comparing and preserving organisms from both galaxies. If you donate more bioscans and samples to the catalog, I can get you a finder's fee. Tempting. Yes. Also, would you like to join our... What's a Lego? Oh my god! Can we play D&D? &D? I know, I was about to say D&D, &D, but I wanted to say like something that was like spacey. Something that made a little more sense. Like... Oh, uh, um, what's the name of the thing? The giant worms? The sandworm thing? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Uh, it'll be like... Hold on, go talk to that other professor guy and I'll look it up. No, the, there was another guy. No, there wasn't. Okay. okay you could talk there. to him, I guess. It just wasn't a, uh... A thing? Yeah. No, yeah, you're right. Ha! Hi, Pathfinder. Want to hit some rocks for science? <laughs> Try and stop me. Absolutely. What do you need? Sam and I used your scans and made a VI for geophysics surveys. Beta builds on the console there. Test it out in the field, and I'll wrangle you a consultant's bonus from Director Addison. How's that sound? A thresher maw. Ah, oh, thresher maws and what's something that sounds like thresher maw? The Dungeons and Dragons. Something so, in Thresher Moss. Uh, so it should probably be two syllables. Dungeons blah, blah, and Dragons. And Thresher Moss. Okay. So. And it wouldn't be Solarians because they're not really. What, what's that? What, what? Krogan and No No. It, it should be a place and then Thresher Moss. Okay. A place. What is the Krogan homeworld? Um. For fuck. I feel like a well, loser for re not remembering no, all this. Tachanka. Tachanka and Thre No, that's like racist. Okay. Um, but like, what's why is like, it? Why is it racist? I don't know. It just feels feels Krogan okay. racist. All right. Rachni and Thresher Maws, or or wait, maybe it should be some something in Rachni. What's what's the uh, what's the Shadow Broker alien? Oh, um, the big dude. Yeah. God, I feel like a loser for not remembering. No, it's okay. I'm trying to, like, the Yog. Yog and... Hmm. 
It has to be like ships and sh thresher. Hold mode, on, you know let's, what I mean? We'll we'll come. We can come up with something later. Let's focus on what we're doing. Everybody in the comments, give what? us your best. Give us your best space Math Dungeons and Dragons name. Yes. Specifically, relays and rachni. Yes. <laughs> relays and rachni. Relays and rachni. Okay, but everybody else, tell us what you think. Pathfinder, we've had some trouble. Anything I can help with? Perhaps. I discharged an away team to get readings from a section of the Scourge that was behaving anomalously. They haven't reported in for some time, and sensors can't locate their shuttle. I sent them out there. Good, dedicated people. I fear what might have happened to them. Your work is important. Don't lose sight of that. When I'm out there, I'll see if I can find them. Their friends and family will want to know what's happened. And I... I need to know. Boink. Wait, hold on. I can jump on top of this? Hold on. Technician, please report to the Hyperion Yay! Hello, fellow humans! Hello! I am your Pathfinder! Take me seriously with my makeup and hair! I like how we're talking shit about everyone's makeup when ours is ridiculous, but ours looks cool and theirs looks stupid, so. Hun, so. We're still on the right. Yeah. Let's go. Are we going on the ship now? No, I'm talking to. Oh, Kesh, of course. Yes, I know the Hyperion docking unannounced caused some switches to blow. That's fine. I don't care. We know the problem is more widespread than we thought. We're working to fix it. That's all. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, a female Krogan would be really good at mediating her My job. My crew's working on it. We've moved the op center to the top of our priority list. Because the female... That's an entire sector showing green. Good job. There you are. Hope the others haven't been giving you a hard time. There's a lot that needs doing. At least with the Hyperion hooked up and feeding us power, my team and I can get more work done. Krogan whereabouts... I noticed there aren't a lot of Krogan around. Tan, ask him why most of my people left. He'll have opinions. I can tell you this much. When the mutiny happened, a deal was made. My clan were supposed to settle matters and in return, get more say in the initiative. Mm. I really want her to explain why she has face markings. Did the deal go through? The clan held up their part, but Tan had a meltdown when he found out we wanted more say around here. Then Addison's assistant, Spender, pretended he never made the deal in the first place. It was a mess, but I don't blame my people for walking out. We're done being Good for used. you. So why is she still here? With your clan gone, why did you stay? It's complicated. The station and my clan both need me here. Yeah, she needs to be there to represent their voices when no one else will. Mm. But I feel like she fits her job. A female Krogan would, uh, the way they're raised, would do a really good job at her job. What kind of work do you do as superintendent? I was part of the team that originally designed and built this place. I keep the station functional, or as functional as possible, considering. I wonder how that happened. Like, how did she get that that status? I don't know, but she very... seems, she seems different. Maybe like, uh, maybe she was raised by Turians or something. That's what you know. That's what I'm saying. Like maybe she was raised kind of I don't know. by somebody else because she has paint face markings like a Turian. Yeah. And you know, I'm not saying that Krogan can't be scientists because they totally can. Because there was that one Krogan on Tachunka. but one Krogan, Mari, really? You can only come up with one. I'm sorry. There's I have more than limited... one Krogan that's a scientist, Mari. I'm sorry. Oh my I'm god. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but to all of our is... Krogan viewers, I am so sorry. We're gonna have a talk after this video. As of the Krogan culture, <laughs> but before the events of Mass Effect Three, when they left, Krogan culture was not con. And what's the word? Conducive? That, conducive to raising people who wanted to be scientists, especially females, because the females were encouraged to try and have as many babies as they could. Females. Females! I'm, <laughs> I'm touching my, my Ferengi, Ferengi ears, ears right now. Females! 
So I'm wondering, since she has never... face markings and she has interest in science, which obviously she can totally do, maybe she was raised in an environment that was not Krogan. Mm-hmm. That's what I said earlier. When we left the Milky Way, the Krogan were still dealing with a genophage. Right. The genophage. A little gift to our people from the Solarians thousands of years ago. That sterility virus they infected us with left most of our children stillborn. Only one in a thousand survive. No wonder your people have such a problem with Solarians. Some wounds never heal. Not that my ancestors didn't provoke it. They did try to conquer the galaxy. The Solarians were forced to respond. Mm. And it's not fair to blame it all on them, either. The Solarians developed the virus, but it was the Turians who deployed it. I'm hoping that's all in the past. Plenty of blame to go around, but Andromeda is about new beginnings. My people need that more than most. I want to know more about this lady. Mm-hmm. What about the Krogan here in Andromeda? There's no cure for it. But my clan was starting to show a mutation against the virus. A natural mm. defense. During the trip to get here, Krogan underwent gene therapies to enhance the mutation while we were in stasis. So you used those 600 years to your advantage. Give the adaptation more time to develop. Yeah. It's still early, but I think we made a dent. Oh! Our scientists say we've improved viability to almost 4%, which is a lot better than what we had. Beyond all the statistics, it means more Krogan children will live. It's the only way my people have a future out here. So what was happening in Mass Effect 2 was that the Krogan were starting to build a natural defense. And then they were trying to, like, enhance that. They, they were, they, Morden came in and, like, so Morden nerfed was a, them. So Morden was a companion in the original Mass Effect series who was a Solarian. And he nerfed them again, I will call it nerfing. Nerfed. <laughs> But over time, the Krogan of the thousand years before that were developing a resistance to the genophage. So it totally makes sense that even after Morden, like, fucked them up, that there was still a mutation in there that they were trying to harbor during the 600 years. Totally makes sense. And for people who don't know, Krogan have babies in batches of a thousand, and, like, maybe one in a thousand will live. Maybe. So... Now maybe they'll be like three. <laughs> well, they said they said four percent. Four percent of a thousand, so like forty kids. Yeah, it's pretty good. Thousands too many babies though. It's too many. Way too many babies. Mm. What sort of problems have you seen on the Nexus? Situations gone to shit. Pretty much sums it up. There's arcs missing. Some idiots tried to mutiny and take over, then more idiots offended my clan, so they left. And to top it all off, the founder of the initiative, Gian Garson, was killed. What happened to Gian Garson? Killed in the Scourge disaster. Her and a bunch of the other leaders. Ten might know more. And I thought the Hyperion had it bad when we arrived. Anything else? The outposts aren't happening because we don't have resources or people, so Addison's more uptight than ever. <laughs> And let's not forget how badly the station was damaged on arrival. But that's a detail, according to some. My team and I are repairing what we can. If we don't get materials soon, things will go downhill. Fast. Nothing more for now. Try not to die out there. I'll check it out myself as soon as I have a moment. Move on to the docks. You know what I think would be kind of interesting to do? Like, not maybe not on the Let's Play, but if we wanted to, like, do, like, a bonus video where we go through and read the codex entries. Remember I used to do that? Yeah. I know, and I'm saying, like, it would be cool to do it again. You want to sit down and do that for a few hours for me? Me? Yeah. I mean, I don't have this game, so... No, just, uh, read all the shit. I'm saying, like, maybe tonight, like, after we're too tired to, like... No, we're not going to want to do that. <laughs> what? Read all the codex things? Not all of them. I'm oh. Not... I... Are we not, like, thinking of the same thing? I was just thinking, like, a video where we just, like, read a couple things, and that way if people want to watch it, they can, but we don't put it in the... Because I used to put it as the end slate. 
Oh. Okay, additional task. Because I guess I just kind of figured, like, if we were to read them, we'd probably want to talk about it, too. You know? Mm-hmm. And you could give, like, additional background information. Welcome to Mariwiki. Yeah. 